Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about a question that I get a lot from my clients, and that is, am I able to get another set of Magical Express luggage tags? So Disney's Magical Express will send out one yellow luggage tag per person that is to be put on your checked luggage. It's not put on your carry-on luggage, so it's your checked luggage only. And that is to indicate that Disney is to pick up your luggage from MCO airport and deliver it to your Disney resort. Now I've had a lot of people say one checked bag per person is just not enough for their party or we're traveling with teenagers so I know we're going to need more. And I have had quite a few thoughts on this that I wanted to share. First, it is definitely possible to get another set of luggage tags. And if my client comes to me and asks for that, I will take care of that and have Magical Express send them another set of luggage tags. That's not an issue. But there are a couple of things you might want to think about. And the first is, where are you going to put all of the stuff you're putting in your checked luggage? So if you're staying at a value or moderate resort, your hotel room doesn't have a specific closed off closet with doors. It's kind of this closet-ish area in the bathroom. So there's not a ton of storage space. So when we've gone, I am actually quite a minimalist when it comes to packing. Um, but with just the two of us, we're just oftentimes bringing two carry-on bags. And even then, I've kind of found it difficult to unpack in a moderate resort hotel room. And that is because we have stayed there when we have run in some of the races. So we had a little bit extra clothes, but still it was only for like three nights and it was just the two of us. But that's something to consider. Where are you going to put all of these clothes? Because there's not a ton of storage space or dresser drawers, hanging rod space either. And the second thing is where are you going to put all of these suitcases? Now in that storage closet-ish area um, that's part of the bathroom, it was enough space for us to put our carry-on luggage on the upper shelf. We were definitely able to do that and put our backpacks in there. But again, it's just the two of us. So if we had full-size checked luggage, we could fit, fit maybe, I can't picture it, one, maybe two up there. I don't know if we'd be able to fit two. I can't picture it. But either way, for a family of like four or something, there's just not the space. So you're going to have suitcases sitting out in your room and that takes up a lot of space and the rooms aren't huge to begin with. So that's another thing to think of. And then the third thing that I thought of was how much are you paying to check the to check all of these suitcases. So most airlines charge to check any bags. And I know at least the ones that we fly, it's $25 per checked bag per way. So if even if we're only checking one, that's $50 in checked luggage right there. Um, and I know Southwest gives you the first check bag for free. I believe you have to pay for the second or third or fourth, whatever subsequent um, bags you're bringing. So that's another thing to think about is how much are you going to be spending to do that? So my recommendation is plan out what you're gonna wear. There's really no need to bring a huge assortment of clothes and then decide when you're there what you, what you want to wear. When we've gone in August, we bring summer clothes, that's it. No hoodies, no pants. It's just not cold enough for that when you're going in the summer. Um, so for me at least, if I was going in like mid, probably mid-May through mid-October, I probably wouldn't bring any anything other than summer clothes. That's just me. Obviously, you should check the weather and see what works for you. Um, when we've gone in fall, I have worn, and in winter actually, I wore one pair of pants on the plane, and then I brought one pair of capris slash crops, and then um, the rest all summer clothes, t-shirts, shorts, that kind of thing, and then one thin, real lightweight zip-up hoodie. Um, and that worked out just fine. Now, we've also done laundry when we were at Disney before, and my husband was very reluctant to do that. He didn't want to spend his vacation time doing laundry. And he actually said it was not nearly as big of a deal as we thought, as he thought. Um, I have two foldable laundry bags that I got from the container store. I hang them off of the ironing board in the room and we put our dirty clothes in there and it was great, super easy to bring that down to the laundry room in, at the hotel. You're able to look up online 
how much time is left so you on your washing machine or dryer so you don't have to just sit there wondering um and then when our washer was done we most of my clothes i don't dry um so we dried my husband's clothes and like you know underwear socks that kind of thing um i hung up my clothes in the room and i try to bring almost exclusively dry fit clothes i do bring some like regular clothes but usually it's exclusively dry fit clothes and they were dry by morning. We did laundry in the evening. They were all dry by morning. It really did not take up that much time of our vacation. And I know a lot of people recommend throwing your laundry in and then go sitting by the pool while um, your laundry is in the washer and stuff like that. And that's another idea too. Um, you have the option to ship things to your hotel. So you can you know, ship things from Amazon. Your hotels usually have a fee if they need to hold your package. And it's Typically $5 per package, but I'm not saying it can't be more. Um, Garden Grocer, I believe is the name of it, um, is a local grocery store that delivers. You can have things delivered to your resort. There is a minimum fee, but if, especially if you're staying at a family suite or at a villa and you want to take advantage of the kitchen in your room, that would be a fantastic option. You can have diapers shipped there. Um, there are just other ways around it. Now, when we have only gone with carry-on luggage, that was when we rented a car, so I didn't have to worry about purchasing sunscreen. Um, but if I wanna purchase my sunscreen here, yes, I would check my luggage, but an option is to bring a small enough suitcase so you can check it on the way down, use up all your full-size liquids, and then not have to worry about checking it on the way back. So just make sure it's small enough to technically be a carry-on, but you can actually still check it. And you are probably thinking that things would be more expensive to purchase on property, and they are. Um, but you have to kind of think, okay, even if they cost more, say a can of spray sunscreen, if you don't want to, you know, if you only want to bring two or what, whatever the case may be, if you don't, if you want, don't want to bring everything and you want to buy something on property, even if it costs more, is it going to cost less than checking your luggage? Because if you're checking a suitcase both ways and you're spending $50 on checked luggage alone, you have to think that buying something there is still cheaper. So think about those things. Think about the possibility of doing laundry, planning your outfits out in advance, um, having things delivered. Are you renting a car? That kind of thing. There are a lot of ways around it. So I always tell my clients, yes, you can get another set of yellow luggage tags, but these are things to consider. Space to put your stuff, space to put your actual suitcase, and how much is it going to cost to check these bags? A lot of times people don't think of these things. So I hope you guys found this helpful and I will talk to you next time. Bye.